Welcome back to the Tractor Tech Channel. I'm Roger. Today I have my Carry On 5x8 trailer in the garage for a little project. I'm going to add a winch to it. Winch makes the trailer so much more usable. Even though this trailer is a real small trailer, I'm not going to be hauling heavy things on it. Winch is still going to be a handy thing to have. So I'll show you what I'm working with. So to start off with, I have a old trailer hitch and yeah, it was rusty, but the receiver tube portion is still in good shape. Don't need anything real heavy duty because the winch I have is only a 900 pound winch. I got this winch at Harbor Freight. It is a ratcheting strap rent winch. Chose this style so I wouldn't have to like stand there and crank it. Thought this style would be more user friendly, just stand there and ratchet the thing up and back, up and back, up and back. Then I've already, off camera, already took a piece of quarter inch plate and made a bottom plate for the winch. But I was thinking earlier, a little bit undecided. I've already made it, I'll probably use it, but I don't know that that's really necessary for this little winch. Then for the upright, I'm going to use 2x2 two two tubing. Then this conglomeration is going to be welded on top of that. Of course, all of this is going to be cut off and it's just going to be the receiver tube. Then the winch itself. I like to use a two inch receiver tube for every winch mount on a trailer. Even though this is a light duty winch setup, if I wanted to, I could use a bigger winch off of a bigger trailer on this or vice versa if I had to in a pinch. And then this is going to be welded onto a receiver tube. Really, it could be put in the um, trailer mover on the tractor or a pickup or whatever, which obviously you wouldn't use a little winch like this for a truck or a tractor really, but a bigger winch could be used. So I pretty much need to get this cleaned up be welded to my upright. Alright, so I worked on this some last night, kind of got to a stopping point, didn't want to be doing a bunch of grinding in the garage and then go to the house. So this receiver tube, it just needs cleaned up with a angle grinder with a flap disc. I took the chop saw outside, I don't like using the chop saw inside because of all the abrasive dust. So I took the chop saw outside last night, cut my upright using quarter inch wall, I'm not an engineer probably could have used eighth inch but I didn't have enough eighth inch then I already showed this piece that I had previously made I cut that on the quarter band a while back this is probably going to be welded to this I could probably get by just bolting it for the winch to go in the receiver tube now, when you're doing a project like this, you need to think everything through. I'd like to have this setting back this way a little more, but I want good clearance. So when I'm using the jack, depending on however I grab a hold of it, that I'm not going to bust my hands into the winch mount. So, you can see I've made some marks there where it's going to set. need to straighten this safety chain holder. I'm going to gain two additional tie downs by using this. I'm going to set this back as far as I can but yet still get a good weld on it. 
just trying to balance it there to show you right now. And the receiver tube is going to go up inside. My goal was to not have the winch when it's in the receiver, have it hanging over. That way if I need to use all of the trailer, the winch won't be obstructing it. I'm pretty close to that, but like I said, I want a good clearance, so when I use the jack, I'm not going to hit my hand. I guess need to clean this piece up. First thing I'm actually going to do, maybe, is trim this off. Alright, there's the receiver tube. I have it all cleaned up. It is ready to be welded to the upright, and then the upright can be welded onto the trailer. Next thing I need to get prepped though is the piece that slides into the receiver for the winch that this is going to be welded to. I need to go ahead and drill these couple holes in it, and then the hole for the hitch pin. Alright, everything's cut and cleaned up ready to weld together. I have the hole in the receiver tube. I have the hole in the receiver tube. And the two holes for the winch. I have the winch plate clamped to the tube. It's ready to weld now. And then I also have the upright uh, in place on the receiver tube, it's ready to weld also. All right, the receiver tube is welded to the upright. I'm going to wire wheel this piece real quick before it is welded to the tongue of the trailer. The winch plate is completed, it's welded on both sides, didn't really see the need to weld it continuous for such a light duty winch, 900 pound winch. And of course already showed the winch mount. Slightly questionable if it's going to need a brace running in one direction or the other. I think it's going to be okay because it's only a 900 pound brace. We have a 5,000 pound winch on a car trailer and pulled a truck on there with brakes that were dragging with like the tires were actually sliding and it's made out of the 2x2 two two quarter inch tubing and the only way it's braced is to the front wheel on the trailer that is quarter inch uh, angle 2x2 two two angle so that's not like a substantial brace so I think this is going to be more than enough I don't want to make the tongue on this trailer heavy because a lot of times when I need it I just pick it up and drag it down to the vehicle because I kind of keep it up in the side yard so if it gets heavy on the tongue it's going to be hard to move by hand also like these receiver tubes on the trailers because I can put a ball mount in here. This trailer is pretty small so probably not going to haul another trailer on it but something like a wood splitter or something you could put a ball mount in here and pull the wood splitter up on and drop it down on the ball mount and that would be a tie down point. Still put some straps on the splitter to also hold it but you know just adds just makes the trailer more useful. And as I mentioned earlier I have two new tie down points. So I'm going to move this thing over to the other bay, let it cool off a little bit, and paint it. So I finally have a chance here to test the winch on my little carry-on 5x8 trailer. I figured out that a 5-gallon bucket will go over top the winch, so that way I can leave the winch on the trailer and not have to store it somewhere and then go get it when I need it. I have the trailer hooked to the BX. We do have a chain that we can hook from the trailer mover down to the drawbar to keep it from raising up, but I wasn't sure where that was at the time, so I just put a jack stand underneath of it to um, 
keep from picking the front of the trailer up when I winch the zero turn on to test out my winch. Do need to put the zero turn in neutral. All right, it's in neutral. Pull some winch cable. back in gear now. Now that I have tension on the winch, I can release the brakes. See, I'm pulling it with one finger so it pulls really easy. See how it does once I start up the ramp. Looks like it's driving to the right a little bit. Looks like the winch and the winch mount work good. The winch mount didn't see it bending or anything, so it's plenty strong for winching something small like this on, like I'm going to do most of the time. The gear reduction is pretty low on that winch, so it does pull pretty easy. When I did start up on the trailer, the rear tires were chalked and then the front tires were chalked on the hinge. That was the only time it pulled hard. Yeah, I think it's going to work pretty well. One problem I see, I'll show you with the camera. My dad had a hand crank winch one time with a strap on a car trailer, like a boat winch, and it did the same thing. If you're not pulling perfectly straight, you can't see, but the strap kind of gets pulled over and it's not the full width, so I need to unwind it because the zero turn kind of has a mind of its own with the casters on the front and wants to roll downhill but it's gonna be fine for winching a lawnmower, zero turn, four wheeler, something like that up on the trailer. Real happy with the way this project turned out. Then also, as I previously mentioned, I can take this winch out since it's a two inch receiver. And I could put a ball mount in there so I could drop a wood splitter or something like that down on there, make it easy to haul something small like a wood splitter. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this. Have a great week.